I am the 13th Wolfman, and the people over at Lionsgate were nice enough to send over for review. Cur okay, I'm going to get this right. Curandero. Curandero, Dawn of the Demon. Uh, I'll be honest, this wasn't a bad movie um, for, for nobody being in it. I mean... It says on the front, Robert Rodriguez presents Curandero, Dawn of the Demon. Okay. So it's one of those things where Robert Rodriguez really isn't involved. It's written and directed by Eduardo Rodriguez. I don't know if he's related or not. Um, but basically what it is is that there's this young man named Don Carlos Gutierrez who is a Curandero. His father was a curandero, and when his father was around, he was well-loved and, and a very well, a very well curandero. Um, he's gone now, and his son's taken his place, and his son doesn't really believe in all the stuff that happens with curanderos. Now, to define what a curandero is, um... I honestly have come to the conclusion that a curandero is a witch doctor. Because they don't really define it in the movie. And that's one thing I didn't like about the movie. They just kind of figured that, you know, anyone that watches this should know. And that's not right. Um, so there's a... There's a... Spanish Mafia overlord living in Mexico who's also the head of a satanic cult and the police the police and the federalities catch up with him uh, catch up with him they capture him they put him in jail and it turns out that he gets away why does he get away well because he's got you know a billion people on his side or something like that. Uh, he's got it, 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 he's got like all these followers uh, that help him escape. And he needs to he can he can be immortal if he can take the life of this one cop. Um, she is she is cursed, I guess, in a way. And uh, and that's pretty much what the story is. So Don Carlos Gutierrez uh, is employed by the police and the federales to uh, to help find the the mafia satanic dude. And um, at first he doesn't believe in in this. I mean he he saw his father do it, but he still doesn't really believe in it and he does like little bits of hocus pocus here and there and because he doesn't really get into it but then as time goes on he starts to he starts to believe he starts to feel it he starts to get into it and uh does he save the woman and get rid of the bad guy i'll let you watch the movie and find out um, I will give this two and three quarter chainsaws out of four. It, like I said, there were some things that I feel that they, well, as far as information goes, they could have, they they could have passed along to the viewer. The main thing is, is that what's a curandero? Because, like I said, I just assume it's a witch doctor. Because that's no one defined it for me. Uh, there's nobody in this movie that anyone knows. Well, I can't say that anyone knows that I w that I don't know. Um, it's a good movie. It's very there are some for the gore horrors out there. There are very there are some uh, bloody parts. Um, that's that's very nice, you know. Um, the story is there. I think it could have been a little more well rounded. That's why I gave it when I gave it. 
like I said, it's two and three quarter chainsaws out of four. I uh, and I think I'll leave it at that. I'm the Thirteenth Wolf Man. I'm on the prowl.